Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on our channel, Immortal News. Today we will be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always we have special tributes in today's top headline section with a health update about Princess Kate Middleton. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin. Thank you. Number 13. Betty Cole Ducert, a powerhouse behind NBC's Meet the Press, died March 16th at 96. Alzheimer's complications led to her passing. Ducert's 40-year tenure saw her rise from associate to executive producer, securing interviews with icons like Castro and Perot. Despite a journalism degree, Ducert initially got a secretarial role at NBC in 1952. Her break came with Meet the Press in 1956 where she became a cornerstone of the Sunday morning staple. Under her leadership, the show adapted to the evolving political landscape, remaining a must-visit platform for policymakers. Dukert's career was marked by dedication and skill. She handled a diverse range of guests with exceptional judgment, earning praise for her behind-the-scenes contributions, especially during the show's 1992 expansion. Her influence transcended the studio, Ducert secured interviews with world leaders like King Jr., Gandhi, and Arafat, bringing valuable perspectives to viewers. Despite challenges, her resolve ensured Meet the Press remained a vital part of the national conversation. Ducert's commitment extended beyond achievements. A mentor and inspiration, she embodied the importance of rigorous and respectful political journalism for democracy. As the media evolves, her legacy as a journalism pioneer and champion of political discourse will endure. Tributes to Betty Cole Dukert. Number 12. Calla Johnson, affectionately known across TikTok as the Traveling Mermaid, passed away at the age of 34. Her sister, Victoria Johnson, broke the tragic news, leaving friends and followers in mourning for the untimely loss of a cherished content producer. Her journey as a flatbed truck driver has grabbed the hearts of approximately 30,000 TikTok users. She brought a distinct blend of wit and intelligence to the lives of a woman navigating the mostly male world of trucking. Her movies were more than just entertaining. They provided a glimpse into the trials and accomplishments of her job, from the thrill of reaching 100,000 miles on her Freightliner to the tranquil beauty of her cross-country deliveries. The circumstances surrounding her death are unknown, and her family, in their grief, has pleaded for patience and understanding. Rest in sweet peace, my beautiful Calla Johnson, Victoria said, a testament to the sister's strong friendship, which her fans had grown to respect through her posts. A funeral service has been scheduled for March 30th in Texas, where people who knew and loved her will gather to honor her life and legacy. Calla Johnson was more than just a TikTok phenomenon. She was a pioneer in her industry, a devoted sister, and a friend to many. Her zest of exploration, along with her contagious excitement for life, will be dearly missed but always remembered. As the trucking community and her online followers mourn her demise, memories of her journey will continue to inspire and resound. Her legacy is not just the distance she traveled, but also the people she touched, demonstrating that with determination and joy, one can leave an unforgettable impression on the world. Tributes to Calla Johnson Number 11. Atlanta mourns the passing of drag icon Mr. Charlie Brown, also known as Charles Dillard, who passed away at 74. A pioneering figure and beloved performer, Mr. Brown's passing leaves a void in the city's LGBTQ and drag scene. According to Atlanta Pride and a March 8 Facebook post, Mr. Brown was hospitalized in the ICU after battling an infection following heart surgery. Hailing from Westmoreland, Tennessee, Mr. Brown embraced his identity with authenticity from a young age. 
he served in the Air Force and then launched his drag career in Nashville. This decision, made early on, would blossom into a legendary trajectory. In 1978, Mr. Brown and his partner Fred Wise moved to Atlanta, forever transforming the local drag scene. Two years later, he was crowned Miss Gay Georgia, a mere glimpse of the impact he'd have on the city. By 1990, his influence led to the opening of Charlie Brown's Cabaret, a cornerstone of Atlanta nightlife until 2004. Featured in HBO's Drag Time, the club cemented its place in drag history. A fixture in Atlanta Pride celebrations, Mr. Brown served as Grand Marshal of the 2000 Festival and consistently wowed audiences at the Starlight Cabaret. His humorous, warm, and undeniably flamboyant performances secured him a special place in many hearts. Mr. Brown's legacy transcends performance. He mentored and inspired countless LGBTQ individuals, demonstrating the power of authenticity and creating inclusive spaces. As Atlanta grieves this iconic figure, his spirit and contributions will undoubtedly live on, cherished by those who knew him and the countless lives he touched. Tributes to Charlie Brown. Number 10. Irv Woolsey, the iconic figure behind George Strait's meteoric rise in the country music industry, passed away at the age of 80. His voyage ended in Clearwater, Florida, due to complications from surgery. His nearly five-decade association with Strait changed not only their lives, but also the world of country music. His reputation in Nashville circles stretched beyond Strait, influencing the careers of musicians such as Leanne Womack, Dierks Bentley, Ronnie Millsap, and Clay Walker. His eye for talent and steadfast support for his artist's goals earned his reputation as one of the industry's most recognized managers. Straight, mourning the loss of not just his manager but also a close friend, wrote, ERV Woolsey died this morning. He was my manager for around 45 years and more importantly, a friend for much longer. We'll never be the same without him. This attitude echoes the vacuum Woolsey's departure has created in the hearts of many. Kyle Young, CEO of the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum, emphasized Woolsey's essential role in straight success, stating, Without the savvy and determination of ERV Woolsey, we may never have heard of George Strait. Strait's insistence on authenticity over commercial conformance helped him become a country music legend, filling stadiums and influencing decades. His legacy is immortalized by the numerous singles and careers he helped launch. His dedication to genuine country music and his undying devotion to his performers. The music industry mourns the passing of an icon who played an important role in defining its history. As plans of the memorial service are being finalized, Woolsey's memory continues to inspire and resonate within the industry. Tributes to Irv Woolsey. Number 9. Diane Crittenden, a revered casting director whose career spanned over several decades and encompassed iconic films such as Days of Heaven, Witness, and the first Star Wars, passed away at the age of 82. She passed away from multiple cancers at her Pacific Palisades home, leaving a legacy that many in the film business cherish. Collaborations with renowned directors such as Terrence Malick, Peter Weir, and Roger Donaldson have defined her casting career demonstrating her unique ability to analyze and pick talent. Eileen Starger, a colleague casting director and personal friend, described Crittenden as a mentor, sister, and person of remarkable kindness and genius. Her knowledge of and insight into actors was extraordinary, Starger said, emphasizing her significant contribution to film. Her expertise was not restricted to the big screen. She also contributed significantly to television, working on shows such as The New Dick Van Dyke Show and the miniseries Sybil. Her position as head of casting at Warner Bros. cemented her status as a pioneer in the industry. Her impressive career covered multiple genres, contributing to the success of films including On Golden Pond, Pretty Woman, and Spider-Man 2. Crittenden's work changed the cinematic world, leaving an everlasting impact in the hearts of moviegoers. Crittenden is survived by her siblings Donald Durfner and Dory Carter, 
as well as other family members. Her memory will live on via the innumerable films she helped bring to life. Her death is a tremendous loss to the entertainment industry, and her contributions will be remembered by those who knew her and the public who continue to appreciate her work. Tributes to Diane Crittenden Number 8. Kevin Tony, the jazz and soul titan whose melodies danced through the hearts of many, passed away at the age of 70. A brief but fierce struggle with illness resulted in his peaceful death, leaving a vacuum in the music world and the hearts of those who loved him. Born in the dynamic metropolis of Detroit, he was a musical genius who learned the piano, cello, and saxophone at a young age. His musical adventure took off at Howard University, where he studied music theory and composition. His long career was launched by his involvement with the Blackbirds, a group that became synonymous with jazz funk excellence during the 1970s. Tony's talent for creating unforgettable melodies was on full display here, contributing to classics such as Rock Creek Park and Walking in Rhythm. His transition to a solo career highlighted his versatility and imaginative energy, with albums such as Special K, Lovescape, and The Colossal Strut which adorned the 2002 Winter Olympics with its uniqueness. Beyond his own projects, he has worked with musical icons such as Stevie Wonder, Frank Sinatra, Isaac Hayes, and Aretha Franklin, demonstrating his exceptional creativity and versatility. His passion for music extended to his family, as he proudly produced his daughter Dominique Tony's debut album, Loving You So Easy, which was well received by both fans and reviewers. His legacy is not only the notes he played, but also the inspiration he gave to three generations of jazz and soul fans. His contributions to music are timeless, and his influence will be felt for years to come. As we mourn the passing of such a monumental figure, we also recognize the amazing body of work he has left behind. Rest in peace, Kevin Tony, a true musical pioneer whose soul will live on via the tunes he bequeathed the world. Tributes to Kevin Tony. Number 7. Johan Galtung, the Norwegian sociologist esteemed as the founding father of peace studies, passed away at the age of 93, leaving behind a monumental legacy. His pioneering work, which established concepts such as constructive peace and structural violence, has had a significant global impact, influencing how peace and conflict research is undertaken in over 500 universities worldwide. When confronted with the prospect of military service in 1951, he chose to protest on conscientious grounds, a move that would take him down the path of peace research, a field that lacked official study at the time. This dedication to peace prompted him to do substantial research in a variety of subjects, as well as the foundation of the Peace Research Institute Oslo and the Journal of Peace Research, both of which remain influential in the field. His broad approach to comprehending violence has extended the dialogue on peace and conflict, emphasizing the need of development in establishing peace. His insights into conflict transformation and creative reconciliation have provided unique solutions to global conflicts, revealing the potential for good change. His life was influenced by a notion he learned from his father during the tumultuous days of World War II, the supreme duty to preserve lives without difference. This notion paralleled his approach to peace research, which is a study that serves mankind as a whole, regardless of country or partisan objectives. He was a revered figure whose career extended beyond academia. He worked tirelessly with Transcend International and the Galtung Institute to create a more peaceful, just and sustainable world. His services have been acknowledged worldwide, winning him multiple awards, including the coveted Right Livelihood Award. Galtung, who is survived by his spouse, Fumi Nishimura, and his children, was a luminary in the field of peace and conflict studies. His work, however, continues to inspire and instruct present and future generations of peacemakers. Tributes to Johann Galtung Number 6. Franz de Waal, 
an acclaimed primatologist and a pioneering figure in animal behavior studies, passed away at the age of 75. His passing at home in Stone Mountain, Georgia, after a fight with stomach cancer, brings to an end a remarkable career dedicated to researching the emotional and psychological ties between humans and apes. Lynn Nygaard, chair of Emory University's psychology department, summed up DeWall's enormous influence by praising him as an outstanding thinker whose findings cut across disciplinary boundaries. His study not only questioned our understanding of animal behavior, but also prompted us to reconsider our own nature and role in the animal kingdom. Born in the Netherlands in 1948, his interest in primatology began with chimpanzees' peaceful tendencies. This early investigation paved the way for his lifetime effort to demonstrate apes' complex emotional lives and their similarities to human behavior. His research demonstrated that monkeys can cooperate, empathize, resolve conflicts, and even practice morality, which supports his conclusion that there are no uniquely human emotions. His study went beyond academia, impacting popular culture through best-selling books and riveting public lectures. His attempts to demystify animal behavior and push for a more comprehensive understanding of intelligence and emotion in non-human species gained him international acclaim, including being named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People. His legacy reflects a life dedicated to broadening our awareness of the animal kingdom and challenging us to perceive ourselves within it. As we remember his accomplishments, we are reminded of the common links that connect all living things. Tributes to Franz de Waal. Number 5. Jimmy Hastings, a luminary in the British music scene known for his lasting contributions to the Canterbury Sound, passed away at the age of 85. Throughout his illustrious career he demonstrated his dexterity on a variety of instruments, including the saxophone, flute, and clarinet, endearing himself to both audiences and fellow musicians. Hastings, who was born in Aberdeen, Scotland, was a key element in the Canterbury movement contributing to important bands like As Caravan and Soft Machine, as well as playing with Brian Ferry, Chris Squire, and the great jazz musician Humphrey Littleton. His work on Radiohead's 2001 album Amnesiac demonstrated his versatility and earned him praise across musical genres. His discography reflects his broad influence, featuring pivotal works with Caravan including the classics In the Land of Grey and Pink and For Girls Who Grow Plump in the Night, as well as contributions to Hatfield and the North's The Rotters Club, and National Health's self-titled debut album. His saxophone, clarinet, and flute playing enhanced the richness and depth of each project he worked on, leaving an unforgettable impression on the music. He was remembered as much for his generosity and mentorship as for his musical genius. He was a lovely spirit whose influence extended beyond the sounds. As we grieve Jimmy Hastings' passing, we also remember his many contributions to music and the joy he offered to countless listeners. His legacy will continue to inspire new generations of musicians and fans. Tributes to Jimmy Hastings. Number 4. Antonio Avora, a revered figure in Portuguese performing arts, passed away at the age of 82 in Lisbon. His retirement creates a hole in the fields of theater, cinema, and television, where he has been a bright presence since the 1960s. Born in Atuguia da Balea in 1941, his love of the arts was evident from a young age. His five-decade career at the Teatro Nacional de São Carlos included various productions that showcased his talent. His acting ability was unsurpassed, allowing him to fluidly segue between theater, film, and television. Throughout his distinguished career, he was noted for his contributions to both contemporary and classical works, infusing depth and humanity into every role he played. His performances in soap operas such as Chuva na Aria and Uro Verde led him into many people's homes, making him popular with a wide audience. He was also a staunch patron of the arts outside the spotlight. His work as a cultural counselor, as well as his connection with the Calus de Gulbenkian Foundation, demonstrated his devotion to preserving Portugal's cultural heritage. His passion to the craft extended to teaching amateur theater companies, demonstrating his kind nature. His legacy extends beyond his performances. He is known for his enormous influence on the Portuguese cultural scene. Antonio Evora was more than just an actor. 
he was also a mentor, an arts advocate, and an everlasting part of Portuguese cultural legacy. As we grieve the loss of such a prominent figure, we also recognize Antonio Evora's invaluable contributions to the arts. His legacy will continue to inspire new generations of artists. Tributes to Antonio Evora. Number 3. Lauren van Rooyen, a remarkable Dutch composer and pianist, passed away unexpectedly at his home in Brooklyn at the age of 88. His sudden passing has left the music industry and fans all around the world devastated. Born in Utrecht on March 27, 1935, his musical career began early, with studies at the Utrecht Conservatory of Music. He had a lifetime association with Herman van Veen, co-founding the Harlequin Music Theater in 1966. This cooperation marked the beginning of a busy career spanning several decades, during which he composed several piano pieces, scored films, and performed all over the world. His contributions to music extended beyond the classical genre. He helped to integrate several musical styles composing soundtracks for films such as A Woman Like Eve and A Flight of Rainbirds. His ability to portray deep emotions through his compositions made his work popular with listeners around the world. Albums such as Kaleidoscope and Reverie are just a few examples from his long career that demonstrate his variety and depth as a musician. In addition to his solo work, he was a member of the band De Gevloigel de Vrienden, which included Louis van Dijk and Pieter van Vollenhoven. This group performed over 45 shows in the Netherlands, cementing his reputation as a famous performer. His influence went beyond the performance hall. He was a dedicated educator, spreading his love of music through publications and piano recitals in historic settings. His dedication to music was honored with various prizes, including the Golden Harp, and a knighthood in the Order of the Netherlands Lion. He creates a lasting legacy that will inspire future generations. His commitment to the arts, imaginative energy, and contributions to music have enhanced the cultural environment. Tributes to Lawrence Van Rooyen. Number 2. Theodore Katsadramas, a towering figure in Greek theater, cinema, and television, passed away at the age of 94. His retirement signals the end of an era in Greek arts, a career that lasted several decades and made an unforgettable impression on many people's hearts. He was honored not just for his various acting abilities but also for his services as a screenwriter, which enriched Greek cultural legacy with his tremendous talent and passion for the arts. Born on May 20, 1929, in the town of Doxa in Gortinia, his acting career began in 1954 at the famed Art Theatre of Karolos Kuhn. Throughout his successful career he became a fixture in the Greek theatre scene, appearing in innumerable shows and cooperating with a variety of theatre organizations. His charm and prowess expanded beyond the stage, captivating audiences in films from the 1950s to the 2010s and becoming a renowned television personality, most notably as the protagonist in the television series Our Taxi Driver. His appearance on film brought joy and laughter to homes across Greece, making him a household name and a beloved character in Greek entertainment. His personal life was as rich as his professional life, and he shared it with two extraordinary women, Angelica Capillari and, subsequently, Kaiti Papanika, with whom he had a son, Dimitri. His legacy is not just in the parts he portrayed or the scripts he wrote, but also in the inspiration he supplied to generations of actors and artists who looked up to him as a mentor and a pioneer in their field. As we say goodbye to Theodore Katsadramis, we reflect on a life well lived, a career marked by remarkable performances and achievements that have helped create the Greek artistic landscape. Today's top headlines. News 1. Princess Kate Middleton has courageously announced her cancer diagnosis and ongoing chemotherapy treatment. Following a routine surgery that revealed the presence of cancer, the 42-year-old Princess of Wales shared her health update in a heartfelt video. Supported by her husband, Prince William, and their children, Kate emphasized the shock and the adjustment process for their young family. Buckingham Palace, with King Charles III expressing pride in her bravery, stands united in support. Kate's resilience and openness have inspired many as she requests privacy during her treatment journey. She remains hopeful and focused on recovery 
asking for understanding and expressing gratitude for the overwhelming support received. News 2. Julie Goodyear, beloved for her iconic role as Bette Lynch on Coronation Street, is facing a heart-wrenching battle with dementia, her husband reveals. Scott Brand shared the distressing news, emphasizing the pain of watching Julie, a once vibrant and fun-loving presence, gradually lose her spark. At 81, Julie's diagnosis has led to significant changes, with her signature glamour and zest for life dimming under dementia's shadow. The couple supports the Alzheimer's Society's new campaign, voiced by Colin Firth, to highlight the disease's cruel impact. Brand, now Julie's full-time carer, urges others in similar situations to seek help early. The Alzheimer's Society stands as a beacon of support, offering guidance and aid to those navigating this challenging journey. News 3. In a profoundly touching moment on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Regina King shared a poignant exchange with host Jimmy Kimmel, marking their first interview since the tragic passing of her son, Ian Alexander Jr., in January 2022. The atmosphere grew emotional as Kimmel, visibly moved, broached the topic of King's loss, refraining from mentioning her son's name directly, but clearly addressing the heartache she's endured. In a display of mutual support, King reached out to comfort Kimmel, reminding everyone of the strength found in shared moments of vulnerability. King, who has been promoting her new film, Shirley, has largely remained private about her grief, making this moment a rare and powerful glimpse into her journey of healing. Through laughter and tears, the interview underscored the complexities of grief and the importance of compassion and understanding in the face of unspeakable loss. News 4. In a revealing documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? captures the complex reality of famed talk show host Wendy Williams amid her struggles with health and personal struggles. Producers express shock upon learning of Williams' dementia diagnosis, emphasizing their intention for a career comeback narrative rather than the deeply personal journey that unfolded. Despite legal challenges and ethical concerns, the film sought to honor Williams' story and her family's involvement, all while navigating the delicate balance of storytelling and Williams' well-being. As the documentary airs, it ignites conversations about celebrity, vulnerability, and the responsibility of filmmakers in portraying such sensitive subjects. Number one, Francisco Gil Cravioto, a distinguished Spanish writer, journalist, novelist, and translator, passed away in Granada at the age of 91. Born on February 12, 1933, in Turon, Granada, he was a literary and cultural star who was recognized for his significant achievements over the years. His academic career in letters at the University of Paris IV developed him into a multifaceted intellectual, and his membership in the Academy of Good Letters of Granada as a corresponding academic highlighted his importance in the literary world. His distinguished career was defined by his strong love of narrative, both in written and translated works. With a prodigious output across multiple genres, he was noted for his perceptive investigation of issues through novels, translations, and critical commentary. His writings, including prominent titles such as The Horns of the Deceased, Camacho's Wedding, and The Oratory of Tears, demonstrated his narrative prowess and ability to create gripping stories that resonated with both readers and reviewers. Aside from his writing achievements, he was honored for his commitment to supporting culture and the arts frequently acting as a cultural counselor and contributing to the richness of Granada's cultural scene. His dedication to literature and the arts was recognized with various awards, including a gold medal from Granada for his whole literary oeuvre, demonstrating his lasting impact on the cultural heritage of his birthplace and beyond. His legacy as a writer, thinker, and cultural advocate has left an unmistakable mark on the literary world. His deep contributions will continue to inspire readers, authors, and researchers, ensuring that his voice and vision endure. Tributes to Francisco Gil Cravioto, 